All right, let's look at this lesson. We're going to do some speed picking licks, and we're going to use the key of G as a reference. So if you're playing out of the key of G, the most common chords are G, C, and D. So I'm going to show you some licks that you can play over those three chords. So obviously, uh, this would be like an up-tempo, like a bluegrass type song, or, you know, something that's uh, moving pretty good. And uh, I try to pick maybe like a medium fast tempo. I think it's something that you can kind of work up to. Also, if you enjoy this video, then make sure to go ahead and press the like and subscribe buttons. You can also join the channel, receive early access to our videos by pressing the join button below. There is a tab and backing track available for this lesson. You can get those as well as around 100 others and other benefits by clicking the card or the link in the description for our patron site. So, let's look at it. It's going to start out pretty simple. So the first chord that we're playing over is going to be the G. So we're going to go to our 15th fret, which is the octave for G. So that's a G chord up the 15th fret. And we're going to do this lick right here. Okay, so that's, that's a pretty common lick. Uh, you, you, you go eight, seven, six, pedal in with your B pedal on your six string. Then you pick five. Okay, so it's eight, seven, six, pedal in your six string with your B pedal. So you pick it once, then pedal it. Then you pick five. Okay, so we're going to leave our, our B pedal down, pick six again, and slide it up two frets. So that would be the 17th fret. Okay. Now while we're here at the 17th, just leave your B pedal down, pick five, six. When you pick six this time, you slide it back down from the 17th to the 15th. Okay. Okay, so real quick again, at 15th you pick eight, seven, six, pedal into six with your B pedal, pick five, pick six again with the B pedal still engaged, Move up to the 17th fret as a slide, pick 5 at the 17th, then pick 6 at the 17th with the B pedal in, slide it back down to the 15th fret with the B pedal still engaged. Okay, the little last part of the lick, you pick 5, 6 with the B pedal down, then release it, then 7, 8. Okay, so this lick has, you know, you can break it down in two parts. Okay, so that's for the G. Now the next one is the C chord, and the lick for that is this. Okay, so here at the 15th fret, you play your 10th string, then pedal into it with your A pedal. Then pick 8, 6 with the B pedal already down. Pick your 5th string, your A pedal's already down. After you play your 5th string, you release the A pedal. and just come straight down the string, six with the B pedal still down, seven, eight. Okay, again, real quick, 15th fret, uh, just go ahead and pick 10, then pedal into it with A, 
And I'll go ahead and press A and B at the same time because you're fixing to have to have your B pedal down. So pick 10. While that's ringing, pedal into it and then press A and B pedals just to have the B engaged already. Pick 8, 6, 5. So when you hit your fifth string, you release the A pedal, just keep the B pedal still down. Then come right straight down on your strings, six, seven, eight. Okay, so that's a C chord. Now we're gonna play another lick for the C at our 13th fret. When you hit your eighth string here at the 15th, slide it to the 13th, leave your A and B pedals down. But when you get here with that eighth string, you need to lower it with your ED flat. So we did this lick. Then when you hit eight at the 15th, you slide it to the 13th. And when you arrive at that fret, you need to lower it with your ED flat knee lever. Then you go seven, six, five, A and B pedals are down. When you hit five, you release it. Okay, that all plays over the C chord. Okay, then the D chord or the D seventh chord, the last chord in the progression, we're going to play this lick. Okay, and that simply starts out at the 12th fret, and that's going to play over a D. You played nine, eight, seven. When you hit seven, you slide it up one fret from the 12th to the 13th. Then you hit six here at the 13th. Hit your seventh string here at the 13th and slide it to the 15th. Okay, again, that's at the 12th fret, you pick nine, eight, seven, then slide your uh, seventh string from the 12th fret to the 13th. Here at the 13th, you pick six, seven, and then slide that seventh string to the 15th fret. Okay, now here we pick six, then pedal it in. Five, then pedal in with the A pedal. Pick your fourth string at the 15th and slide it to the uh, 14th. Okay. Okay, all that plays over the D chord. Then it ends on G, because we're out of the key of G, and I do this little lick here. That is played. We're, we ended at the 14th fret. So I play that string again, the fourth string at the 14th fret, slide it to the 15th, pick six, Slide that down to the 13th fret. Pick four here at the 13th. That's playing, that's like a G seventh lick. Then it ends like this. You play your fourth string at the 12th, hit your sixth string at the 12th, then slide it to the 11th.
All right, so we have this for the G. This is the C lick. Then the D. Then the last lick for the G. Okay, so that's a pretty interesting little solo. And you see how you can play a lot of that right here within about two or three frets. So when you're playing speed picking or when you're playing an up-tempo song, you want to, you know, one way of thinking of it is that you want to try to utilize your fretboard and your pedals. And what I mean by the pedals or the bar is that you can play one note. You can make it note two times, either by moving the bar, or you can do it with a pedal. So that, that decreases the picking that you have to do. You're incorporating your uh, pedals to help you play faster and uh, actually takes out a movement because you don't have to pick again. All right, so hope you enjoyed this and give it a try. I hope you can, uh, as always, try to move these around, you know. Try to, you know. Try to uh, learn your fretboard and, and play these out of different keys. All right, so give it a try and let me know what you think. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video and hope it was helpful for you. And on behalf of Jake and I, I just want to take this time to thank all our supporters on YouTube and Patreon, especially our Tier 3 supporter. Also, if you enjoyed this video, then make sure to go ahead and press the like and subscribe buttons. You can also join the channel to receive early access to our videos by pressing the join button below. There is a tab and backing track available for this lesson. You can get those as well as around 100 others and other benefits by clicking the card or the link in the description for our patron site. So again, thanks and keep picking.